just gonna bring that up. Here's my website. Okay, as you can see, I've been working on it for a while. Um, it's already up and running. Um, and this video is gonna be on. It's gonna be right here. On um, once I get this done. Um, and it's pretty cool. I've been working on it for a little bit, as you can see. Um, if you guys have any movie requests, just contact me at this email. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. And I have a couple movies on here. All you have to do is click on them and the direct torrent link so it downloads straight away. No, you have to do anything else here. I have my intro up. And this is how I made it. So I'm just going to show you. You're going to click on the total folder. Or you could just go file and publish to folder. But basically you're just going to want to go. It's going to be set to mobile me. You're going to want to set it to local folder. Uh, type in your site name. Um, your email. I'm just going to change that really quick. This isn't the email I use. Um, choose where you want it. I'm going to have it in my desktop and your root URL. You don't have to do that optional. So click publish the uh, publish site. It's gonna do this and click OK. You can go ahead and quit iWeb. And these two folders you're probably gonna want to make a folder and then put it in that folder. You don't have to. Um but you could delete these the dot playlist and the dot HTML you can delete those. Um, the stuff that you need is going to be the stuff that's in that, your name, the site name in the folder. So, as you can see, these are all the files that we're going to use, so I'm just going to minimize that. And I'm going to open up Safari, so you're going to go to a website called 110mb.com. You can find it if you just type in 110mb.com. And there it is. So you can log in. It's free, 100% free um, web hosting, 100% nothing whatsoever. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to log in. Um, you can see it has the FTP info right here. And it's pretty basic. Um, this is pretty good. You get 5,000 5, megabytes, which is pr basically 5 gigs. And you get um, 300,000 megabytes, which is 300 gigabytes of bandwidth. Um, so that's kind of cool. And to shorten up your URL, if you go onto your website, once you get it all up, so basically you're going to do this. You're going to copy down this FTP login info. And you're going to download a free program, which I'll have in the description, called Easy iWeb Publisher. You could always use a transmit or cyberduck, but I just like using this because it's a lot easier. So what you can do once you download it is click configure. Name the configuration doesn't matter. Um, type in your the server right here, which is right here, and just type in a forward slash. You don't have to; it's optional. And type in your username and your password, and click check configuration. It should do this for a second. Click OK. Close window. And then a cool thing, you just click. Um, well, you're going to have to click, just drag what you do. So you just drag the folder. You just drag it right there. But mine's already there, so I don't really need to do that. And it's going to. And the cool thing about the, using this program is it checks all the differences and it only does the differences instead of re uploading it. So that's pretty cool. So you can go ahead and close this, and if you want to get a shorter URL, which most of you are going to want, is you're going to want to go into this website, and you're going to copy down, you're going to copy your regular URL, and I'll provide my link, my website link in the description, um, and I want you guys to comment and leave a comment of your guys' link to your websites because I want to check out see what you guys made and you're gonna just paste it click next and um, basically you're gonna just gonna have a dot tk so let's see watch this Ant-Man 
help.tk. If you go to that. Uh, oops, sorry guys, that's a different website. That's not mine. It's mine's just Ant Man Help. And as you can see, they're completely identical. Once you update this one, it's gonna update this one because it's pretty much just having a second domain. Um, I have used a lot of different other ones. I've used Brave Net and um, 000 Webhost. I just like 110. I think they're the best. I just think they're hands down the best. And if you guys open up iWeb and you go local folder, you change it to FTP. This doesn't work. It has never worked for me. So as you can see, it says it works, but it doesn't. I don't think it works. So I would just use this program. I think it's a lot easier, more user friendly, and that's basically it. So comment, you guys, and if you have any movie requests, just read right here. That's all the info. Here's my intro, and thank you guys. Comment, subscribe.